This is Utah Ceratops, weighing over 7,000 pounds and 76 million years old. We're here today with Merle Graffin, who is going to talk to us about the evolution of these species. Okay. Uh, I'm a ranger with the, part, with the uh, Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, which is a Bureau of Land <coughs> Management National Monument created in 1996 by Bill Clinton. We have just changed out our display to be uh, horned dinosaurs, which we're finding uh, in the monument. The first one is not, was not found in the monument. It was found in the Gobi Desert in the 1920s by Roy Chapman Andrews. This animal was found uh, very early uh, there, and it's about 75 million years old out of the Gobi Desert. And they never got any larger than this. They stayed about the size of cows. These are called horn dinosaurs. This is a protoceratops. This one is, was found in, by a six-year-old boy just a few years ago in New Mexico. And you can see the similarity, except that there, there, are, there are little scallops on the back of this one, and this one is completely smooth, but they still have the holes in the hood, and this one has now developed horns over the brow. Uh, these are, uh, have uh, beaks. Uh, only dinosaurs have had beaks. If you think about that, what that means is the birds are dinosaurs. Uh, so these are non-feathered animals. These are plant-eating dinosaurs. The meat-eating dinosaurs were uh, feathered. In this case, uh, this guy is about 91 million years old. So this is very, very much older than this one here. Now, there's, this is a transitional fossil. We're seeing this kind of an arrangement with no horns. Then we've got horns. Then we've these frills that are beginning here are being continued by evolution on the side of this one. This one is called Diabloceratops. And Diabloceratops is an entirely larger animal. This one is Nasudoceratops. Diablo means devil, and it kind of looks devilish. Nasudo means big nose, and this is a big nose dinosaur. It's the largest nose. And the horns now have evolved and adapted because of stresses in the environment to uh, a different shape. And again, we've got these, which would have had little horns, hornlets on the side of them. The last one here in the row is called Cosmoceratops. This one is amazing in that it has this strange, strange array of uh, horns that we don't know what they were for. They weren't bent over over time. This is the way they were on the original animal. And again, it has horns coming out to the side almost like a cow. So stresses in the environment will change the form of an animal. Any kind of mutation that happens to uh, an, an ancient animal or even an animal today, if it doesn't kill them, and uh, it may or may not be beneficial. If it doesn't hurt them, it will remain even though it might not be useful. But if it's useful, it will it will allow that animal to survive and have more children and therefore continue as a species. Also, uh, if you look at butterfly wings, uh, owl's eyes have evolved on them to uh, keep birds from eating the butterflies. In this case, this would have been covered by skin and uh, blood vessels, and if, if the the light was coming through from the back. They would have looked like big glowing eyes. This is one of the hypotheses about this. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.